Dear Irish friends and friends of Ireland, Accordia, Cade Mila Falcha, welcome and thank you for joining us for our very first online celebration of St. Patrick's Day. We have all learned to adapt and to live in uncertain times, but some things will never change and March 17th will always be St. Patrick's Day, a wonderful and unique opportunity to renew our bonds of friendship here in Belgium and across the world. A day underlining an Irish heritage and a history that has created one of the most widespread and dynamic diaspora communities. A day to honour the achievements of the past and to celebrate the possibilities of the future. This past year has, of course, been a challenging one. We have all experienced loneliness and loss, some more so than others. There has been sorrow, but also many important acts of kindness, generosity and solidarity between individuals, communities and nations. And we have seen all that here in Belgium, in our wonderful diaspora and in our warm and enduring diplomatic friendships. Creativity too has blossomed. Our literature is thriving and our businesses have innovated with ever increasing trade and transport links between our two countries. Today, there is a renewed sense of hope, thanks to the efforts of science and medicine, which we celebrated here just last month for St. Bridget's Day. And while we are marking today with an online gathering, as so many of our citizens are doing with family and friends this year, I'm looking forward to the days ahead when we can all gather in person again, when we can welcome you back to the embassy and back to our beautiful island with our traditional warm hospitality and delicious food. St. Patrick's Day also reflects the success of our national independence, now almost 100 years old. This year marks a number of important anniversaries in our nation's history, a crucial year for the creation of the modern Irish state. Flanders with the Island of Ireland Peace Park has provided us with a shared place where we have been able to commemorate and reflect on some of the most sensitive and divisive issues in our past, always in a respectful and inclusive way. Ireland is and always will be part of Europe and the union we have helped to build. We remain committed to the EU and dedicated to the work required to create the kind of Europe we all want to see, offering a better and a more prosperous future to all its citizens. We are an island at the centre of the world and our membership of the EU is central to our success as an open, globalised economy driven by talent and innovation. Our diplomatic relations and partnerships around the world are based on shared values and a profound commitment to international order and the rule of law. Like Belgium, we believe that global challenges are best addressed through dialogue and cooperation. Ireland is proud to be a recently elected member of the UN Security Council, the fourth time we have served. Ireland's track record at the UN is widely recognised. Empathy, partnership and a real commitment to peacekeeping and peace building are all keynotes of our membership, reflecting the values, global engagement and commitment to multilateralism, which we share with our strong partner nations like Belgium. I want to end with a special word to our community and to thank you for your support for one another and for the national efforts of Ireland and Belgium. Like Patrick, you are away from home and loved ones and you have made sacrifices for the benefit of others. You have been patient with the essential restrictions under which we are all working and living. I want to thank you for that understanding and to wish you and yours a happy and a healthy St. Patrick's Day. Banakti lo fele fodre galer, from me and from all of Team Ireland here in Belgium. And I hope that you will enjoy the rest of this event. Thank you for joining us. And now it's my honour to introduce on Taoiseach, Michal Martin. Akarda, dear friends, lo ele podvig son let me wish all of our friends and partners in the European Union a happy St. Patrick's Day. The story of St. Patrick has long been associated with reaching out to one another, to be a global coming together. The pandemic has isolated us from family and friends, 
Yet we have shown how resilient we can be and have drawn on a deep, innate sense of community and solidarity to get us this far. In doing so, the old Irish expression, er sco a chéile a varn the dini, has never been more relevant. The importance of the European Union in helping us to re-emerge from this crisis cannot be overstated. The COVID-19 virus knows no borders. Solidarity at the European Union level has been at the heart of our response. We have seen this with the historic agreement last summer for a 750 billion recovery fund alongside a new seven-year European Union budget. We have witnessed this too in the decision to procure vaccines jointly, ensuring that no member state is left behind. The European Union has also shown through the COVAX initiative that global solidarity is also vital as we ensure vaccines reach vulnerable societies beyond the European Union's borders. Internally, the European Union's green and digital transitions will lie at the heart of an EU-wide recovery and will allow us to build back better. And as we advance together with the European Union, another close friend and partner, the United Kingdom, has departed. Brexit has been an enormous challenge for Ireland these past years. We appreciate the very practical solidarity shown by our fellow member states and the EU institutions to protect peace on our island. That solidarity will be equally important in the period ahead as we faithfully implement the arrangements that have been negotiated between the EU and the UK to govern our future relations. This St. Patrick's Day, I want us in particular to remember the global Irish community, including in particular all the Irish working across the European Union institutions, agencies and bodies. For many of you, it will have been too long since you were able to visit family and friends back in Ireland. I know how hard that must be. But I hope you all know that the work you do for the common European Union good is deeply appreciated and the distinctive Irish perspective you bring to your work is deeply valued. Never before have we needed Europe more. Ni nart go curl lechele. There is no strength without unity. Go of mila mahagwif agaslan liv. Thank you, Tishuk, for those inspiring words. St. Patrick's Day is a time to celebrate the brilliance and diversity of contemporary Irish creative talent at home and abroad. Next, we're delighted to share with you some moments of artistic inspiration to lift us up in these most challenging of times. Classic and contemporary Irish voices combined for this enchanting performance of Clannad's seminal In a Lifetime as Moya Brennan duets with Denise Chyla, who reprises the line sung by Bono on the original.
award-winning poet and author, Dira Negrifa, introduces and recites The Heart of the Wood, a poem from ancient Irish tradition translated into English by Lady Augusta Gregory in 1919. There's a phrase in the Irish language, Chorme Beirle Er. I put English on it that I find very striking when I'm translating. It's almost, or what it brings to mind to me is the sense of cloaking a language in another language, in a dominant language in this case. And so this, Sheshach an Beirle, a Har Lady Gregory Aaron Dawnshaw, this is the English that Lady Gregory has put on this lost poem. The heart of the wood. My hope and my love, we will go for a while into the wood, scattering the dew, where we will see the trout we will see the blackbird in its nest, the deer and the buck calling, the little bird on the highest branch that sings the sweetest, the cuckoo up on the fresh green. And death will never come near us in the sweet wood. Kilkenny-based Cartoon Saloon have become one of the world's most acclaimed animation studios. This specially produced sequence combines footage from their latest global hit, Wolf Walkers, with a live performance by Keela, whose music features in the film. Oh. Hey, English girl, where do you think you're going to dress like that? I'm a hunter. Oi, a hunter. Would you listen to her fancy dancing, Max? I am a hunter, just like my father. He's the best hunter there is. No, he's not. My father's the best hunter. Yeah, well, we're hunting wolves for no protector. No one protect you, but my father in chains for nothing. You English are so, so great, but you're not. You're not. Go home. First, this is going to cost me. No. Oh, we'll pay for that English girl.
We hope that you enjoyed those performances as much as we did. As Ambassador Nolan said earlier, whether it's music or dance, poetry or literature, artistic expression really does have the power to lift us up and to brighten even the darkest of times. If you'd like to see more, you can view performances like these and a host of other contemporary Irish creative delights alongside stories of Irish life and history, of innovation and of our diaspora at Ireland.ie. This St. Patrick's Day, we are delighted once again to present the greenings of a host of iconic sites across Belgium, including some exciting new additions for 2021, which we hope you'll enjoy. Keep an eye out for the friendly glow of a greening in your local area tonight and in the days to come. As this virtual St. Patrick's Day gathering draws to a close, I want to thank you all once again, on behalf of the Embassy team and all of Team Ireland in Belgium, for joining us to celebrate together while we stay apart. Gurvmila Mahagwiv Galer, thank you, merci beaucoup, and thank you well. We look forward to the day in the not so distant future where we'll see you all again. But until then, Lo Eilapore Khunadiv Galer, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>